channel my name is Itoha why is it saggy today I am going to show you how to repot a pathos plant now pathos is one of the most popular indoor plants um, you'll find it in the homes of most people who have indoor plants um, it is very easy to grow um, it doesn't require a lot of maintenance and um, it looks really beautiful those are three um, three great reasons to grow pathos plants. So if you're a starter, this is a great way to, to get your feet wet. Um, so I got this pathos plant from a friend. Um, it's actually just a, it's like a cutting from hers, right? That's the great thing about pathos. I mean, there's many other plants that you can um, take a leaf, you know, grow it out again or take a part of the stem and then replant it elsewhere and grow a whole new plant right so that is what i'm going to do with pathos so when i first got it the leaves are probably this small right you see these right here and now they've grown this much and all that has been in here is water that is all i just add water to it to this and this is an old or oregano um, container so these are things you can easily do um, I asked a friend for it and she gave me some. So they are, this is a great way to start a start your own indoor plant mom life uh, without spending so much, right? So I have had this growing for probably maybe a month or more now. Yeah, about a month, I think. And this is how much it grown. So now I'm going to transfer them to these two clay pots and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, I'm going to bring them out and assess the roots so that we can see how, what the roots look like. Okay, so, wow. Can you see this? So, this is plant one, and this is plant two. And you can see how long the roots are just inside this tiny bottle that has plain water that I got from the sink, nothing extra. Um, the plant is regrowing, re right? Um, and this is going to form two new pathos plants for me. And um, I'll put a picture up so you can see what you know, a grown pathos plant looks like or a much more grown pathos plant looks like. Um, some of them be almost like a trellis, you know, and, and you can put them in all sorts of fancy containers. These containers have had them for a really long time and I haven't been using them. So like this is a great opportunity, excuse me, opportunity to use them. And so that's what I'm going to do. So um, uh, we've seen that the roots are great. There's nothing, not much to do here. Um, and you have to really tell me, see, I just broke up this little piece. That's really gentle with the roots. So I'm going to place one here and place the other here. Um, so let me start with this one. So I have a little bit of potting soil in here. Um, I am going to add some organic fertilizer, just a little bit. You really don't have to do this if you have really a healthy fertile soil. Um, but I'm going to add a little bit of organic fertilizer so that I do not have to deal with this again. Um, so. I'm going to show you now this is a new baby that's not a baby it's just chicken <laughs> so this is a huge bottle of um organic fertilizer um that has been highly recommended and so i decided i'm not going to get it and the great thing about this is it can be used for a really long time um especially if you're growing in containers um yeah if you're growing in, in a raised bed or something, raised garden bed, it's you, you may use more um, because some of it may be leached into the ground, but in containers, everything stays in the container. So, um, uh, if you just have, maybe when the plants grow, they take out some, but you still have some left in the soil, so you may not need to apply so much. I'm only going to apply a little, I'm only going to add a little bit of this to the container. Um, this is a great organic fertilizer and you can make it up just call my phone and, um, wherever you are, whatever part of the world you are, there are um, different types of um, organic fertilizer available, manure or compost that you can add just to give the plants some extra things 
um, that it may need to grow very well. Um, I like this because it says that it is great for all plants, um, all the turf grasses, trees, shrubs, perennials, flowers, vegetables, and new plantings. Um, and it has no chemicals in it. If it's 100% slow release, because that means it's the nutrients in the fertilizer are released over a period of time. So it's not like everything just comes out and burns the root of the plant. No, it doesn't do that. Yeah. Um, it has billions of beneficial microorganisms, and you want, to, especially if you're growing containers, you want to, you want the microbial life to grow, right, and flourish because your plants need that. So um, I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, yeah, let's watch. I'm just gonna open the top. So I'm going to put this here for now. I'll show you that I have a little bit of soil in here. So I'm going to take just a teeny little bit of this. Just this much. I'm gonna put it in here. I actually don't feel like I need all that. This is fine. And I'm going to do my best to mix it into the soil. Okay. And of course you want to put it in, in the part of the soil that the roots can easily reach, right? So the plants are not looking for it and they don't have it in there. Thankfully this is a really small pot, so anything can, the roots can easily reach. So taking these, I'm gonna put it in here. I said they have to be really gentle because the roots can easily break. So I want to see if I can take it apart a little bit. And you want to completely cover out the roots, right? Going to repeat process for this one. This one there's not much in here, so I'm going to put some. Just going to put this pieces on top. Right there. Take some salt, put it at the bottom. And then. I have these two and they look great um now i'm going to water them oh also um i was talking about this in another video but 
you're going to you always want your continents to have drainage right um i'll do a, a video um, about different types of containers you can use for gardening but you always wanted to have some drainage there's a little hole i think that there's a hole right here um this usually comes with um what's what it's called it's almost like a it's like a water basin of some sort that stays at the bottom um uh, I don't have that right now, so I'm just putting it here directly. Yeah, putting it on this plastic thing so that in case any water drains, it doesn't go everywhere because I don't want to mess. So, oh, I'm going to put some So these two are good and these are my new harvest plants. I'm going to plant them. Um, of course, if you prefer nicer looking containers, I'm just learning to use what I have. I trying to do the same. And then when you can get the fancier um, containers, go ahead and do that. So that's it. I hope you like this. I hope that you have learned something. Um, if you have any videos you'd like to record, please feel free to say to type in the comment section. Um, like this video, share with a friend, and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. All right, so the next video, bye. Y'all.